Hello, people of YouTube. This is Edna2. And I have a co star here. Shadow Wolf Gaming, how you all doing again? And so far, right now, Halloween has already passed, so we're gonna, this week we're going to talk about stuff that happened on Halloween and that's going to happen after Halloween. Yes. The second it hits midnight, Christmas songs start playing everywhere. And that is no lie. First thing, what happened on Halloween? Costume dress ups. Any comments on that? I yes. Guess. There's three. Roughly three main types of costumers out there. You'll have the full-on cosplayers who went all out to make the best Halloween costume that is convention level worthy. Then you'll have the cheap store bought stuff. I mean like it's good, good for show, good for fun, good for parties. Yeah? And then you'll have the I don't wanna say it, but the sexy costumes of anything. Right? Yes. But there's always gonna be that. And a common theme this year was an Elsa costume. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Frozen was a great movie. There's just gonna be a lot of them this year. I've only seen one on campus. Yes, but uh, the internet says otherwise. Dear, dear God, dear Lord. The internet said otherwise. Uh, was it really that popular, that movie? Yeah, it was really good. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it. Well, the song was popular enough to let, let, let it go. That yes. least I understand. You have any problems with it? Just let it go. I've, <laughs> seen, I've seen a few good costumes. I saw a guy dressed up as like a Chinese takeout. It was, it was oh yeah, and then you'll have those kinds of comedic costumes as well. It's good. It's good. I saw someone dressed up as Brock. Yes, Brock. there was a Brock and a Misty that we found on campus. I saw Brock. He had he, he was actually able to like, get his eyes closed. <laughs> it was really good. I went as Attack on Titan. Uh, I'll try to send you a shot of that. Or you can, I can post, post a shot in the video if you send it to me you're fast enough. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And there's our message from Tor. Alright, um, let me see. There weren't any Borderlands cosplays or costumes. I know. Didn't see that many good ad that many anime costumes. I really wish there were some. Yeah. Except from the one from the anime club itself. There's members of the anime club who would have done some. I have not seen them, damn it. Mm. Actually maybe have uh, and then there's some originals out there. There's a, a Lolita. Damn it, I wish I'd seen that! It was a steampunk one too. Oh, I have seen a steampunk. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, you were there with Yeah, me. that one. Yes. I was thinking of, when, when I think of Lolita, I think like gothic Lolita. Everyone thinks that. There's different kinds, everybody. Yes. Don't be so close minded about Lolita culture. I've known enough. I watch enough anime to know about some Lolita culture. Mm. Yes. Next on our topic, parties. Yes. Shadow Wolf has not gone to a party. Nope. But I actually have. I've been to my first party in college, and it was a Halloween party. Not a get together, it's an actual party. Get it right. Now, when it comes to parties on Halloween, it's going to vary on so many different levels. You'll have your simple costume party where everyone's just hanging out and having fun, and you'll have your party parties where everyone's going to get smashed. And then you'll have the, um, what is it, the kitty parties as well. And there was one more I had. Is there more kitty kitty parties or get together? Yeah, but Pretty still. Much. There was one more. Oh yeah, and then, well, no, no. For me, I define get togethers as actually getting together with friends. Like, kitty parties is like babysitting parties. Yes. I mean, more like children's parties, but. Yes. Do they have those in now? Do, do There's kid. bound to be some. I mean, like, trick-or-treating has gotten sketchier over the years, honestly. Seriously? Yes! Like, um, it's more common for people to trick-or-treat at malls than it is to go door-to-door. -door. Well, it was raining over here, so there weren't that many trick-or-treaters that night. I, but still, I mean, like, overall, like, you're about to see more trick-or-treaters go to malls than... Uh, I've never go ahead of house, house I've, to house. I've never seen a mall give out candy like that. Actually, just like a few stores, but no, not malls. Yeah, yeah, that's why. The mall. You go to you trick or treat at each individual shop. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. I should look into that another time. What happened at my party? Uh, I was one of the people who did not get drunk, who did not drink. But there was a ton of booze. There was. There was beer pong, pretty much, so that explains. It's a college party, dude. Yes. Beer pong's bad. 
But uh, apparently one of my, two of my band members, it was a party with them, had most of the band members come. And... You're in a band? Yes. Dude, I'm a guitarist, let me join! You were seriously? Yes! I play piano and I play guitar. We meet Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9-11. Mm -hmm. And I... That's a tough call then. We have one... Cut. Back on topic, the... Um, yeah, two of my bandmates got pretty hammered. One of them basically got hammered by... Let's see, they drank pretty much, I think, like six cups of jungle juice. Jello shots is the term. No, jungle juice. It was actual. I don't know. Of a while back, um, Charmy, we did, we did a vlog together. She mentioned it, and now I completely believe her. She's right. Yeah, jungle juice is bad for you, pretty much. Yeah. Well, just don't go too far. She did that, and a uh, round of. What's the term I'm looking for? Oh yeah, beer pong. She was so, she was so drunk. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, a little advice from this guy over here. Um, know your limits. Don't try to overdo it. Um, if you're gonna do it, just be safe. Try not to drink too much. Try um, yeah, just be careful when you do it. Oh, and if you're going to if you're gonna put your drink down and you don't keep an eye on it for at least a minute or something, do not pick it back up. That is prime problem right there guys so be careful with your drinks any drink really at any party if you put it down don't take it back unless you saw like unless you're just like oh wait okay then like that because someone could have spiked it exactly so be wary of that and drink plenty of water so that way it can kind of dilute it that's what we did to her she had and she pretty much vomited shortly yeah. after there you go see so yeah. I don't know what her condition is right now, but uh, hopefully she'll be fine. Hopefully she is fine now. Hopefully she doesn't remember any of what happened. Because it'll sort of look awkward. That just means brain damage, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, if you are if you get blacked out... Um, That's where you forget things. Yeah, be careful on that because that can cause brain damage as well. I'm not a medical expert. Try not to take too much of this advice, but just know that some of this advice can be helpful. It's, just be yeah. careful. I guess. Actually, someone I know, they had a few concussions from playing soccer, and they had. Now they can't get dr actual drunk because if they actually black out, they may go into a downright coma. So, yeah, that's why. Know your conditions. After hours, what happened after the parties for me, uh, or for anything? For me, on our way home, one of the streets were pretty much flooded because it was like raining, like. It was like raining hell down. Oh, yeah. So, it was uh, just pretty. Ridiculous. It was a lot of rain. You know yeah. how you know how the phrase is cats and dogs? Up here it was llamas and goats. Oh scratch that. Cows and horses. Seal of rule. That's what happens when you're on farmland, dude. Now what happens after Halloween? Uh, Christmas music. Christmas music everywhere. Uh -huh. I went shopping today. One of the shops is already filled with a bunch of Christmas decorations. I think they're already doing that before Halloween. Yeah, even like mid October, there were some stores were already like preparing for Christmas. It's like chill, dudes. We're barely getting on to death right now. It was still Thanksgiving too. They forgot. They forgot about that. Thanks, dude. Thanksgiving, like they're everyone's just gonna bypass it a bit. Oh yay! We just we just raided a bunch of Indians. No, what, we're gonna. <laughs> what about Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Thank God, Cyber Monday. What's that? It's <laughs> after Black Friday. Really? <laughs> Time to start buying some tech stuff. Mm. Actually, I probably if I actually waited around, I'd probably get a good laptop for that, but I'd rather not wait because they may be sold out. And usually, Black Friday is whenever they sell the cheap stuff. Yes. Dealing with Halloween candies. Mmm, that's a tricky one. Do not go into a sugar coma, please. Don't do that. Be careful on how much you ingest because that can lead to diabetes, and that is not good. Also from blackout too. Yeah, yeah. Too much sugar can lead to that kind of problem. In so general, yeah. just be careful. On a side note, I once made a milk tea, and I pretty much poured like a third of a box of sugar about this big. Yeah, be careful on that. It was because my roommates were saying that it wasn't sweet enough, and yeah. when I did it, they said eh, it's all right. Put a little bit of milk maybe in the tea. Oh, I know it's 
milk tea. My bad. I mean, I normally drink hot tea, so I won't actually, I do drink hot milk tea as well. Mm. First off, who puts that? Those that's rich, how much they put in rest in the cafes. How much sugar do they add to those? It's ridiculous. Really, they do. I'm not sure. Actually, it's probably a different type of sugar. I was using white sugar. Moving on. So, so I know. <coughs> okay. Well, earlier we were on the topic of Black Friday sales. Go back. Are you gonna go back to that? I want to go. I want to touch up a little bit on that. Okay. This Black Friday, guys, be careful. Please do not join that herd crowd. Like, if that door is bust, you're gonna get trampled. I swear, you're gonna get trampled. I've seen some reports. I think someone got killed when, like, the at Walmart, they just like push force down the door and break in. Yes, because people are. No, it's not Tor. But yes, things like that will happen. It's just like. It's ridiculous. It's just a sale. Anyways, um, yes, even though prices can go as low as 90% off, be careful. All right, guys? Just it's... like wait for the herd to die down a bit. If anything, try to be first so that we can get to what you need to get before anybody else does. To be first, you need to be waiting in line like a few days ahead of time. <laughs> yes, um, one South Park episode covered that and they paired Game of Thrones with it. I suggest you look at you guys look into that. And all everyone on news pretty much. You can see people just lining up in front of Best Buy just a few days beforehand. Yes. So be careful on that. How about instead of going to Black Friday sales, let's cover Halloween sales. Stuff after Halloween. <laughs> yes. Halloween candy. <laughs> yep. Stockpile on 90% off Halloween candy. Very. Yes, I bought two bags of candy corn for only a buck. Candy corn is sort of uh, it's a it's a developed taste, honestly. You have to get used to it. Yeah. Just like you have to get used to the taste of beer. In general, aren't you like that? Yeah, yeah. Some people don't like it. Some people do. Kind of like coffee. I don't sort of don't like the bitterness of coffee. Yeah. It's everything tends to be more on personal preference. Yes. All right, guys. Well. So that's this vlog. Thank you for watching. So thank you so much for watching this, even post Halloween. Even though this probably is a bit late, it's like three days after Halloween. Who cares? It's still good information that you should know for early for next Halloween. Yes. And also for Black Friday. Yes. So this is Edney too, and Shadow of Gaming hey. signing out. Peace out, suckers. <laughs>